क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन इंडस वैली ड्यूरिंग विच एज इट रीच द मेच्योर स्टेज ऑफ लिविंग द आंसर इज ब्रॉन्स एज इंडिया इट एक्सपीरियंस एन अर्ली डेवलपमेंट ऑफ कल्चर्स एंड सिविलाइजेशन एंड सिंस द ओल्ड स्टोन एज सेवरल ग्रूप्स इन इंडिया हैड माइग्रेटेड मल्टीपल टाइम्स एंड दे मेड कल्चरल अडाप्टेशन सो ईच ऑफ दीज ग्रूप्स एवॉल्व इन इट्स ओन कल्चर रेस्पॉन्डिंग टू देयर लिविंग फ्रॉम फ्रॉम अ लाइफ ऑफ फोर एजिंग थ्रो नोमैडिक पैस्ट्रलिज्म and the settlers in indus region reached a mature stage of living in bronze age question number 2 which sources are important for understanding the relationship of stone age people the answer is faunal animal and floral plant archaeological sources these form the bedrock of information for us to understand this long span of time in indian history and there are no written evidence for this period the faunal that is animal and floral that is plant sources are important for understanding the relationship of stone age people with their environment and these floral evidence are found in the form of charred seeds pollens and pytholes which is plant stones and these help us to gain knowledge of farming practiced by stone age people Question number three: Which of the following language families have flourished in India? The answer is Indo-Aryan, Dravidian, Austro-Asiatic, Tibeto-Burman. Language is another important source of history. Indo-Aryan, Dravidian, Austro-Asiatic, and Tibeto-Burman. These languages families have flourished in India. and these languages have developed and evolved during the various phases of migrations in indian history question number 4 the earliest human ancestor species to migrate out of africa was the answer is homo erectus if we talk about the stone age we can include the entire south asia which the region covering india pakistan sri lanka nepal and bangladesh as a whole and the human ancestors are likely to be first evolved in africa and later they migrated to different parts of the world and the earliest human ancestor species to migrate out of africa was homo erectus question number 5 which of these are does not specify the name of the period before script invention and the answer is aluminium age generally the period before inventing the script is broadly divided into stone age bronze age and iron age hence these names of materials they used are the geographical region they belong that is indus or the first site to be identified for example achulin or harappan these are used to name the cultures Question number six: State the correct order of the age periods based on the classification of cultures. The answer is Paleolithic, Mesolithic, and Neolithic. The period after the Old Stone Age, that is Paleolithic, is called the Mesolithic Age, and the period that followed the Mesolithic is called Neolithic Age. And this classification of these cultures is done on the basis of stratigraphic, chronological, and lithic, which is stone tool evidences. Question number seven: In which age human ancestor species of Homo erectus is believed to have lived in India? And the answer is Lower Paleolithic culture. The earliest lithic artifacts these came from different parts of the Indian subcontinent, and during the Lower Paleolithic cultural phase, human ancestor species of Homo erectus is believed to have lived in India. Question number eight: Who found the first Paleolithic tools in Pallavaram? And the answer is Robert Bruce Foote. The first Paleolithic tools; these were identified at the site of Pallavaram, which is near Chennai, by Robert Bruce Foote in the year eighteen sixty-three. And he found many prehistoric sites 
when he extensively surveyed different parts of South India. And since then, numerous Paleolithic sites have been identified and excavated all over India. Question number 9. In which of the following Indian regions, Acheulean tradition is not found? The answer is Western Ghats, coastal areas and northeastern India. The Acheulean tradition is absent in the Western Ghats, coastal areas and northeastern India and heavy rainfall is the main reason for the absence and unconventional condition and lack of law, raw materials might have prevented the occupation of these areas and perhaps there was no necessity for the prehistoric people to move in these areas and these sites are found more in central India, southeast part of India near Chennai and these areas receive high rainfall and therefore endowed with thick green cover and rich resources. Question number 10. Which tool industry used only chopper and chopping tools? The answer is Sohanian industry. Based on the research, there were two independent cultural traditions of hand axe which is Acheulean and pebble flake which is Sohanian industries were confirmed in India. This Acheulean industry mainly had hand axes and cleavers and the Sohan industry is considered used to have only chopper and chopping tools. This Sohan industry gets its name from the Sohan river valley of Pakistan and these cultural traditions are not considered distinct any longer. Question number 11. Which of these are the important Paleolithic sites in India? The answer is Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Madhya Pradesh. These lower Paleolithic tools are found in most part of India except in few regions of Ganges Valley, Southern Tamil Nadu and in the hilly areas of Western Ghats. Adhirambakam, Pallavaram and Gudiyam near Chennai and Hongsi Valley and Isampur in Karnataka and Bibmetka in Madhya Pradesh are some of important Paleolithic sites where the Acheulean tools are found. Question number 12. Lower Paleolithic age lasted before the answer is 60,000 years ago. Recent research places the beginning of Lower Paleolithic around 2 million years ago and this culture continued up to 60,000 years ago. Question number 13. Who was the immediate ancestor of Homo sapiens? Hominin. Unlike Africa, evidences of Hominin, who are the immediate ancestor of Homo sapiens, fossils are very rare in India and there is a report of fossil fragment discovered by Robert Bruce Forte from Adhirambakam and its whereabouts are not unknown. Question number 14. The only well-known hominin fossil of India was found at The answer is Hathanora. The only well-known hominin fossil of, fossil of India was found at Hathanora which is near Hosangabad in Madhya Pradesh and the cranium is named Narmada human. A partly preserved hominin skull cap was found in Basal conglomerate deposit in 1982 and this is considered to represent the archaic Homo sapiens and this is the only existing fossil find of human ancestors in India. Question number 15. In which valley of India most of the animal fossils of elephants are found? The answer is Narmada valley. Animal fossils are useful to understand the paleo-environmental context in which people live. And in Narmada Valley, animal fossils of Elephas nomadicus, which is a giant tusked prehistoric elephant, Stegodon ganesa, a giant prehistoric elephant, Bos nomadicus, which is a wild cattle, and Equus nomadicus, which is extinct great horse-like animal, have been recovered. Teeth of Equus, evidence of water buffalo, and Nilagai, as well as 17 other animal hoof prints were uncovered at Adirambakam.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग आर इंक्लूडेड इन द इक्वस The answer is horses as zebras, teeth of equus, evidence of water buffalo and nilagai, and other seventeen animal hoof prints have been uncovered at Adirambakam. And equus it refers to the genes of animals including horse, ass, and zebras. Question number seventeen. What was the culture of lower Paleolithic people? The answer is animal hunters and food gatherers. The people of lower Paleolithic culture hunted animals and gathered roots, nuts, and fruits, and they also fed on flesh and bones of animals which were killed by predators. And they lived in open air river valleys, caves, and rock shelters, as seen from evidence in Bimbarka in Madhya Pradesh and Gudiyam near Chennai. And these prehistoric human ancestors belonged to the species of Homo erectus, and they did not have a complex language like Homo sapiens. They may expressed few sounds or words and used a sign language, and they were very intelligent to select stones as raw material and use the hammer stones to flake the rocks and design tools. Question number eighteen: Who identified Middle Paleolithic phase for first time in India? The answer is H. T. Sankalia. In India, the Middle Paleolithic phase was first identified by H. T. Sankalia on the Pravara River at Navesa. After this discovery, several sites of this period have been identified, and recently, the Middle Paleolithic of Adirambakam is dated to around 3.85 to 1.7 lakh years. An Indian Middle Paleolithic probably may old as the African Middle Paleolithic culture. Question number nineteen: Which of the following industry was predominant in the Middle Paleolithic period? The answer is flake industry. The two types of the Middle Paleolithic period are hand axes, cleavers, choppers, chopping tools, scrapers, borers, and points, projectile points or shouldered points, and knives on flakes. This flake industry was predominant in the Middle Paleolithic period, and tools such as scrapers, points, borers were made, and the scrapers were used for wood and skin working. Question number twenty: While the African Middle Stone Age is associated with Homo sapiens, Europe is associated with. The answer is Neanderthal. The Middle Paleolithic culture in India is dated between three lakh eighty five thousand to forty thousand BCE. While the African Middle Stone Age is associated with the Homo sapiens, it is associated with Neanderthals in Europe, and there were no hominin fused fossil bones of this species have been found in India. Question number twenty one: Along which of the following river? Middle Paleolithic sites are found. The answer is Narmada, Krishna, Yamuna. Middle Paleolithic sites are found in river valleys, mostly in Narmada, Godavari, Krishna, Yamuna, and other river valleys. Question number twenty-two. Which of these features does not denote the Middle Paleolithic culture? The answer is use of bronze and copper tools. The Middle Paleolithic people they occupied open air, cave, and rock shelter sites. And the main features of these Indian Middle Paleolithic period include the following: that is, the tools became smaller, and the decrease in the usage of hand axes in relation to other tools. Use of core preparation techniques in stone tool production. Use of dirt. Jas jasper, salcedony, and quartz as raw materials. Question number twenty-three: Where did the modern humans evolved? 
for the first time. The answer is Sub-Saharan Africa. The cultural phase that followed the Middle Paleolithic period is called the Upper Paleolithic and this period is marked by the innovation in tool technology and increased cognitive capability of humans. And these modern humans who first evolved in Sub-Saharan Africa sometime before 3 lakh years ago, they migrated and occupied various parts of Asia, which is around 60,000 years ago. They probably replaced the earlier population and there is also a possibility that these new groups were responsible for the Upper Paleolithic culture of India. Question number 24. During which period microliths tools were introduced? The answer is Upper Paleolithic. The lithic industry of Upper Paleolithic period is based on blade and bone tool technologies and microliths which is tiny stone tools were introduced in the Upper Paleolithic period and these were made using different varieties of silica rich raw materials. Bone tools and faunal remains have been found in Karnul Caves in Andhra Pradesh. Question number 25. What is the time period of Upper Paleolithic age? The answer is 40,000 years to 10,000 years BP. The Upper Paleolithic culture is represented in India at several sites. A time bracket of 40,000 years to 10,000 years BP is suggested for this period. Question number 26. Which of the following places are some of the Upper Paleolithic sites of India? The answer is Bagor 1 and Bagor 3, Meral Bavi, Godavarikani. The people of this period, they used cave as well as open air space for living. And Meral Bavi in Karnataka, Kurnul Caves and Godavarikani in Telangana, Bagor 1 and Bagor 3 of Sanna, Valley in Madhya Pradesh and Patna in Maharashtra. These are some of the Upper Paleolithic sites of India. Question number 27. What kind of evidences are found in Sri Lanka? The answer is microlith and hominin fossils. Sri Lanka has the evidence of microliths and hominin fossils. Incised ostrich eggshell and shell and stone beads have been found at Jwalabram in Andhra Pradesh, Patna in Maharashtra and Bhattodamba Lena and Fahian Cave in Sri Lanka. Question number 28. Evidence of ostrich eggshells from Patna have been dated to The answer is 25,000 BP. Evidence of ostrich have been found in some prehistoric sites of India and this eggshell of this bird had been used as beads and those from Patne have been dated to 25,000 BP. These are found in Bimpetka and Patne. Question number 29. Which color paintings are found in Bimpetka dated to Upper Paleolithic period? The answer is green color. Evidences of art in the Upper Paleolithic period, these appears in the form of paintings and beads and ornaments of this period have also been found. The lithic blade industry advanced in this period and some of the green color paintings of Vimpetka are dated to Upper Paleolithic period and based on style and archaeological evidences. Question number 30. In which of these Indian places Mesolithic rock shelter sites are found? The answer is Lehekaya, Bagaikor, Adamgar and Bimbetka. Mesolithic sites in India are found in Paisra Bihar, Lankanj Gujarat, Bagor 2 and Chopani Mando, Sarai Naharai, Mahada, Damdama, Uttar Pradesh and Sankanakallu and Kibbanahalli, Karnataka. Rock shelter sites are also found in Lehekaya, Bagaikor, Adamgar and Bimpetka and coastal sites are seen at Mumbai and Terry sites of Tutukudi in Tamil Nadu and Vishagapatnam. These for microlithic evidences. Question number 31. 
between 10,000 and 3,500 BP, fresh water lakes were known to exist in the answer is Didwana. After the Ice Age, because of the global warming, human groups became highly mobile and they began to occupy various eco zones. And the monsoon pattern had already emerged, and some regions they witnessed higher rainfall. At Didwana in western Rajasthan, fresh water lakes were known to exist between 10,000 and 3,500 BP. The animal bones from this period suggest a dry, deciduous type of forest during the Mesolithic period. Question number 32. What is the time period of Mesolithic culture in India? The answer is 10,000 BCE. The date of Mesolithic culture varies in different parts of the world and this culture is assigned to pre-agricultural times in certain areas. In Levant, which is in Eastern Mediterranean, they are dated between 20,000 and 9,500 BCE. In India, this Mesolithic culture appears around 10,000 BCE. Question number 33. In which parts of India, Mesolithic culture continued up to 10,000 BCE? The answer is Kerala, Tamil Nadu. In certain parts of India, that includes Kerala and Tamil Nadu, this Mesolithic culture continued up to 1000 BCE, which is still the beginning of Iron Age. In Sri Lanka, the microliths appeared about 28,500 years BP. Question number 34. Which of these paved the way of Neolithic life after the Mesolithic period? Domestication of animals is the answer. Hunting wild animals and gathering plant food and fishing were people's main occupation during this age and agriculture was not practiced in the early stages. At the end of Mesolithic period, humans domesticated animals and this paved the way for Neolithic way of life. The rock paintings of Central India depict hunting, trapping, fishing and plant food collection. Question number 35. By which paintings we can know that men and women were involved together in hunting? The answer is Bimpetka paintings. The paintings of Bimpetka show that various animals were hunted and for this men and women went together. The people used fire and they perhaps roasted the food. Domestic animals bones of cattle, sheep, goat, pig and dog have been found at Kanewal, Loteshwar and Ratanpur and from Adamgarh and Bimpetka in Madhya Pradesh sites. Camel bones have also been found from Kanewal. Question number 36. Traces of oval and circular huts and possible wattle daub of Mesolithic period is found in The answer is Chopani Mando, Damdama, Bagor, Tilwara. The Mesolithic people were highly mobile and they moved in search of animals and plant foods. And they also made temporary huts and used caves and rock shelters. The circular huts with post holes and burnt clay lumps bearing reed impressions have been found. And many of these caves and shelters features paintings. And these circular huts are seen in rock paintings also. The temporary huts were built using perishable materials. And the traces of oval and circular huts and possible wattle daub are found in Chopani Mando, Damdama in Uttar Pradesh and Bagor and Tilwara in Rajasthan. Question number 37. During Mesolithic period, at which place a man and woman were buried together? The answer is Mahadada. The Mesolithic people buried the dead which suggests their beliefs and human relationship and the human skeletons have been found in Mahadaha, Damdama and Sarainaha Rai in Uttar Pradesh. At Mahadaha, a ma man and woman were buried together. One burial had an ivory pendant as the grave goat. Question number 38. In which region art evidences of human history is found in larger volumes? The answer is Europe. Art is an integral part of human existence. While evidences of art is found in Europe, 
in larger volume they are found only a few sites in india a church stone used as a core had geometric gravings from chandravati in rajasthan bone objects from bimbetka and human tooth engraved with geometric designs rock paintings are also found in the rock shelters of madhya pradesh and central india these show people hunting trapping animals and fishing and dancing bimbetka near bhopal raisan and panchmari in madhya pradesh and south mirzapur in uttar pradesh are some of the sites question number 39 when the indus civilization was in its peak tamil nadu had the answer is microlithic hunter gatherers when the indus civilization was at its peak time the tamil nadu had microlithic hunter gatherers the andhra karnataka region had the agro pastoralists of neolithic period Question number 40 which of the following feature does not belong to the mesolithic people the answer is mesolithic people belongs to a small geographic area in africa the mesolithic people lived in semi permanent and temporary settlements they occupied caves and open grounds and they buried the dead they had artistic skill also and they spread over wider geographical regions and this cultural continuity is noticed in many parts of india from this period and this microlithic tools enable them to hunt smaller animals and birds question number 41 which period marked the beginning of agriculture and animal domestication the answer is neolithic the neolithic period marked the beginning of agriculture and animal domestication and this is an important phase in indian history question number 42 when did agriculture emerged in ganges valley of india the answer is 10000 bc to 5000 bc Early evidence of Neolithic culture is found in the fertile crescent region of Egypt and Mesopotamia, the Indus region, the Ganges Valley of India and also in China. Between 10,000 BCE to 5,000 BCE, agriculture emerged in these regions which led to several cultural developments. Question number 43. In which part of India, Neolithic culture appeared very lately? The answer is North Eastern India. The Neolithic culture of India are divided into various regional cultures and they flourished in different time periods. And in the North Western part of India and Pakistan it began at a very very early date. In North Eastern India this Neolithic culture appeared at a very late date around the early historic time. Question number 44. Which of the following are Neolithic sites? The answer is Mergar, Saraikala and Jalilpur. The Neolithic culture of North Western India is the earliest to have evidence of plant and animal domestication in India. Mergar, Rana Gundai, Saraikala and Jalilpur are some of the Neolithic sites and these sites are now situated in Pakistan. Question number 45 The site of Mergar dating to The answer is 7000 BCE The site of Mergar has produced evidence of early neolithic times which dated to 7000 BCE wheat and barley were cultivated and sheep goat and cattle were domesticated this culture preceded the indus civilization
क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स विच ऑफ दिस स्टेटमेंट डज नॉट रिलेट टू नियोलिथिक मेरगर पीरियड वन The answer is Merger period one of Neolithic age used painted potteries. The people belonging to Neolithic Merger period one they did not use pottery but cultivated six row barley, emmer, and ain corn wheat, jujube, ilande, and dates, and they also domesticated sheep, goat, and cattle. They were semi-nomadic pastoral groups and they built their houses with mud and buried the dead. Their microlithic tools enabled them to hunt smaller animals and birds. Question number forty-seven. The period two of Neolithic Merger dates to. The answer is five thousand five hundred to four thousand eight hundred BC. The first cultural period of Neolithic age at Merger dates from seven thousand to five thousand five hundred BC. Period two of Merger dates from five thousand five hundred to four thousand eight hundred BC, and three from four thousand eight hundred to three thousand five hundred BC. Question number forty-eight. During which period evidences for pottery were found in Neolithic Merger? The answer is five thousand five hundred to four thousand eight hundred BC, four thousand eight hundred to three thousand five hundred BC. The period two at Merger dates from five thousand five hundred to four thousand eight hundred, and three from four thousand eight hundred to three thousand five hundred. And there is there evidence for pottery during these periods? Terracotta frigates and glazed fiends beads. Have been found and ornaments and women's had been uncovered. Question number forty nine. The town of Badakshan abandoned after. The answer is rise of mature phase of the Indus civilization. The long distance trade was pra was practiced as revealed by lapis lazuli, which is available only in Badakshan. And this town was abandoned after the rise of mature phase of the Indus civilization. Question number fifty: Neolithic culture in Kashmir region was contemporary to. The answer is Harappan civilization. Neolithic culture in Kashmir region was contemporary to the Harappan civilization. Burza Home, which is an important style site of this culture, this provides evidence for the megalithic and early historic periods. Question number fifty-one: Which of these people had trade with the Harappan civilization people? The answer is Neolithic people of Burza Home. The Neolithic period of Kashmir had domesticated sheep, goat, and cultivated plants. These people of Burza Home traded with the people of Harappan civilization. They used handmade pottery, and in this place, people lived in pit houses, which is about four meters in depth, in order to escape the cold weather. And these houses were oval in shape, wide at the bottom and narrow on the top. Post holes used for constructing a thatched structure were found around these pit houses. Question number fifty-two. The site of Lehra Deva has produced early evidence of rice cultivation, which is dated to. The answer is six thousand five hundred BCE. In the Ganges Valley and in central India, Neolithic sites are found at Lehra Deva and Chopani Munda. This site of Lehra Deva has produced early evidence four thousand eight hundred to three thousand five hundred BCE. Question number fifty-three. In which of this region Neolithic culture is not found in India? The answer is Madhya Pradesh. The Neolithic cultures of South India have been found mainly in Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka and the northwestern part of Tamil Nadu. And these sites have ash mounds in the center with settlements around them. More than two hundred Neolithic sites have been identified as a part of the Neolithic complex. And these sites have been spotted in the river valleys of Godavari, Krishna, Nagarjuna Konda, Ramapuram, and Veerapuram in Andhra Pradesh, and Payyampalli in Tamil Nadu. These are the major Neolithic sites in South India.
question number 54 the neolithic cultures of north eastern india generally date from the answer is 2500 to 1500 bce in northeastern india the neolithic culture appears at a very late period and this culture of northeastern india generally date from 2500 to 1500 bc or even later shouldered axes and splayed cells have been found at this site in assam meghalaya nagaland and arunachal pradesh darjali heading and sarutaru are the neolithic sites in the assam region Question number 55. Which of the following site was identified first in the Indus civilization? The answer is Harappa. The civilization that appeared in the northwestern part of India and Pakistan in the 3rd millennium BC is collectively called as the Indus civilization. And since Harappa was the first site to be identified in this civilization, it is also known as Harappan civilization. Question number 56. What was the period of mature Harappan phase? The answer is 2600 to 1900 BCE. Harappan culture is divided into various phases, which is early Harappan 3000 to 2600 BCE, mature Harappan 2600 to 1900 BCE and late Harappan 1900 to 1700 BCE. Question number 57. During which period urban phase was prevalent in Harappan civilization? The answer is mature Harappan period. The urban phase was prevalent in the mature Harappan period and this began to decline afterwards. And the beginnings of the Neolithic villages in this region, this go back to about 7000 BC at Neolithic sites of Mergar. Question number 58. Who visited the Indus Valley site of Harappa for the first time in 1826? The answer is Charles Mason. The Indus Valley site of Harappan was first visited by Charles Mason in the year 1826 and Amri by Alexander Burness in 1831. The ex exploration and excavation conducted after the 1950s, they have helped to understand the Harappan civilization and its nature. Question number 59. The site of Harappa was destroyed for laying the railway line from? The answer is Lahore to Multan. The ancient city of Harappa was heavily damaged by the British rule while laying the railway track line from Lahore to Multan. Question number 60. Who was the first surveyor of the Archaeological Survey of India? The answer is Alexander Cunningham. The seal from the Indus Valley Civilization, that is Harappa, this site reached Alexander Cunningham, the first surveyor of the Archaeological Survey of India, ASI. And Alexander Cunningham visited this site in 1853, 1856 and 1875. Question number 61. Who played an important role in the development of archaeology in India? The answer is Sir John Marshall. The importance of the Indus Valley site and associated civilization were not realized until Sir John Marshall took over as the Director General of ASI and he initiated researches at this site. Sir John Marshall played an important role in the development of archaeology in India. Question number 62. Which of the following are Indian Harappan sites that have been excavated? And the answer is Kalibangan, Lothal, Rakigari. After the partition of the Indian subcontinent, many of the Harappan sites went to Pakistan and thus archaeologists were keen to trace the Harappan sites belong to the Indian site. Kalibangan, Lothal, Rakigari and Dolavira are some of the Indian sites that have been excavated.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी थ्री विच ऑफ दीज प्लेस वॉज द नॉर्दन बाउंड्री ऑफ दि हरपन सिविलेशन दि आंसर इज शो टू गई अफगानिस्तान द सेटलमेंट्स ऑफ सुटेर एंड डोर इन द वेस्ट ऑन द पाकिस्तान ईरान बॉर्डर शो टू गई अफगानिस्तान इन द नॉर्थ आलमगीरपुर उत्तर प्रदेश इंडिया इन द ईस्ट अंड दईमाबाद महाराष्ट्र इंडिया इन द सउथ दीज आर द बउंड्री ऑफ हरपन सिविलेशन Question number sixty-four: Which of the following regions are core of the Indus civilization? The answer is Pakistan, Gujarat, Rajasthan, and Haryana. The Indus civilization and the contemporary cultures covered nearly one point five million square kilometer area in India and Pakistan, and the core area was in the regions of Pakistan, Gujarat, Rajasthan, and Haryana. Question number sixty-five: In which phase of Harappan civilization urban centers developed? The answer is mature Harappan phase. The Indus region, Magar, is one of the areas of the world where agriculture and animal domestication started at a very early stage, and we do not know if there is any continuity between the Neolithic cultures of Indus region and the later urban civilization. The early Harappan phase saw the development of villages and towns in the entire region and mature Harappan phase urban centers were developed. Question number 66 which of the following place does not belong to the Indian sites of Harappan civilization The answer is Sutkegan Dor Harappa, Punjab, Pakistan, Mohenjo-daro, Sindh, Pakistan, Dholavira, Lothal and Surkotara, Gujarat, India, Kalibangan and Banavali, Rajasthan, India and Rakhigarh, Haryana, India. These are the major cities of Harappan period. Question number 67, which of the following statements does not denote the features of Harappan towns? The answer is single story houses. The Harappan towns had fortification, well planned streets, lanes and drainages. A civic authority controlled the planning of the towns and the Harappan used baked and unbaked bricks and stones for construction. The towns had a grid pattern and drainage systems were very systematically built. The houses were built of mud bricks while the drainages were built with burnt bricks. Houses had more than one floor. Question number sixty-eight: How many distinct areas were found in the site of Mohenjo-daro? The answer is two. That is Upper Citadel and Lower Town. The site of Mohenjo-daro had a well-planned town, which was built on a platform, and this has two distinct areas. One is a citadel, and the another one is a lower town. The houses had bathrooms paved with burnt bricks and proper drainage system. Some of these houses had stairs that indicates the existence of an upper floor. The houses had multiple rooms and many of the houses had a central courtyard with rooms all around. Question number 69 In the great bath stairs are seen on The answer is northern and southern side. The great bath is a tank which is situated within a courtyard. and the corridors were present on all four sides and the stairs are seen on the northern and southern sides it was well paved with several adjacent rooms and some structures are identified as granary the bricks were laid watertight with gypsum mortar and it had drainage it is associated with a ritual bath question number 70 plowed fields have been found at The answer is Kalibangan. The Harappans used ploughs. They perhaps ploughed the land and then sowed the seeds. Plough fields have been found at Kalibangan, and they used canal and well irrigation.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन वाट टाइप ऑफ क्रॉपिंग वॉज फॉलोड बाई हरपन्स The answer is double cropping system. Agriculture was an important source of subsistence. Agriculture surplus was an important stimulus for number of developments, and they adopted a double cropping system. Question number seventy-two: Who study ancient agriculture and human environmental relationships? The answer is archaeobotanist. Archaeobotanists study ancient agriculture and human and environmental relationships. And Harappan people they cultivated diverse crops such as wheat, barley, lentil, chickpeas, sesame, and various millets. Question number seventy three. Which of the following animal was not known to Harappans? The answer is horse. Pastoralism was also practiced by Harappans. They had knowledge of various other animals including buffalo, pig and elephant, but horse was not known to them. Question number 74. The Harappan cattle are called The answer is zebu Harappans domesticated sheep goats and fowls the Harappan cattle are called zebu and it is a large breed which is often represented in their seals they also ate fish and birds evidence of boar deer and gharial has been found at the Harappan sites Question number seventy-five. Name the materials Harappan people used for making beads and ornaments. The answer is carnelian, jasper, crystal, steatite. Craft production was an important part of the Harappan economy. Bead and ornament making, shell bangle making, and metal working were the major crafts. They made beads and ornaments out of carnelian, jasper, crystal, and steatite. Metals like copper, bronze, and gold, and shell, fans, and terracotta are burnt clay. These beads were made in innumerable designs and decorations and they were exported to Mesopotamia and the evidence was found from the excavations in Mesopotamian sites Question number 76 what type of ancient materials were found in Lothal India and the answer is carnelian and this table shows the material and the sites or serves they found question number 77 which of these colors were used in the potteries of harappan people the answer is red black the harappans used diverse varieties of potteries for daily usages and they use well fired pottery their potteries have a deep red slip and black paintings and they are shaped like dishon stands storage jars perforated jars goblets yes shaped jars plates dishes bowls and pots the painted motifs generally noticed on pottery were people leaves fish scale design intersecting circles zigzag lines horizontal bands and geometrical motifs with floral and fernal patterns the harappan pottery is well baked and fine in decorations Question number seventy-eight: The Harappan civilization belongs to. The answer is Bronze Age. The Harappan civilization belongs to the Bronze Age civilization, and Harappans knew how to make copper bronze tools. Although they produced bronze implements, they needed various other kinds of tools for agriculture and craft production. Question number seventy-nine: Which of the following metal was not known to Harappans? The answer is iron. 
the harappans used chert blades copper objects and bone and ivory tools the tools of point scissors needles fish hooks razor weighing pens mirror and antimony rods were made of copper the chert blades made out of rohri chert bars used by harappans and their weapons include arrowhead spearhead chelt and axe and they did not have the knowledge of iron question number 80 What material was used by Harappan people for making stone blades and tools? The answer is chert. The chert, a fine grained sedimentary rock was found in the region of Rohri in Pakistan and this was used by Harappans for making stone blades and tools. The Harappans wore clothes and used metal and stone ornaments. They had knowledge of cotton and silk and the image identified as priest is depicted wearing a shawl like cloth with flower decorations. Question number 81 The image of dancing girl is found at The answer is Mohan Chadaro The terracotta images of women are shown wearing different types of ornaments the image of dancing girl found at Mohan Chadaro is shown wearing bangles in large numbers up to the upper arm Question number 82 In which of the following places Harappan seals and materials have been found. The answer is Bahrain, Oman, Iraq. One of the sources of Harappan economy was trade and exchange activities. Harappans had close trade contacts with Mesopotamian and also with various other cultures of India. These Harappan seals and materials have been found in the Sumerian sites in Oman, Bahrain, Iraq and Iran. Question number 83 in which of the following place an harappan jar has been found The answer is Oman the cuneiform inscriptions mention the trade contacts between Mesopotamia and Harappan civilization and the mention of meluha in cuneiform inscription refer to the Indus region a harappan jar has been found in Oman harappan seals weights dice and beads are found in Mesopotamia Carnelian, lapis lazuli, copper, gold and varieties of wood were exported to Mesopotamia. Question number 84, what was the weight ratio used by Harappans? The answer is 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 8 is to 16 is to 32. Harappans had developed proper weights and measures since they were involved in commercial transactions, they needed standard measures. Cubical chert weights have been unearthed from Harappan sites. Weights exhibits a binary system. The ratio of weight is doubled as 1 is to 2 is to 4 is to 8 is to 16 is to 32. And the smallest weight measure of 16th ratio is 13.63 grams. Question number 85. 1 inch in the scale used by Harappans is equal to? The answer is 1.75 cm. The Harappans used a measuring scale in which 1 inch was around 1.75 cm. Weights made of chert were cubical and they used binary numbering system which is of 1 2 4 8 etc. They might have been used for weighing jewelry and metal. Question number 86 Which of these seals are not found in the Harappan sites? The answer is iron. The seals from various media such as steatite, copper, terracotta and ivory are frequently found in the Harappan sites. And the Harappan script has not yet been convincingly deciphered. Some scholars are the view they have the view that it is a Dravidian language. Question number 87 The longest text found in Harappan site consists of The answer is 26 signs about 5000 texts have been documented from the Harappan sites the longest text has been about 26 signs and seals might have been used as an identity on the materials that were transported and they might have indicated the ownership
क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी एट प्रीस्ट किंग फाउंड इन मोहन जदरो इज मेड ऑफ द आंसर इज टीएटाइट द टेरर कोट ऑफ फिगर इन द पेटिंग्स ऑन द पॉट्री एंड द ब्रॉन्स इमेजेस फ्रॉम द हरपन साइट सजेस्ट द आर्टिस्टिक नेचर ऑफ हरपन पीपल and priest king of steatite dancing girl of copper from mohanjadoro and stone sculptures from harappa mohanjadoro and dolavira are some important artifacts toy cars rattles wheels tops marbles and hop scotches exhibit the amusement of harappan people question number 89 which of the following tree was worshiped by indus people and the answer is people tree the indus people worship nature they worship the people tree and some of the terracotta figures appear to be mother goddess fire altars have been identified at kalibangan question number 90 what were kept in the harappan burials the answer is ornaments pottery jewelry mirrors and beads the indus people buried the dead burials were made elaborately and evidence of cremation is also reported the harappan burials have pottery ornaments jewelry copper mirrors and beads and this suggests their belief in an afterlife question number 91 which reveals that might have been a polity in harappan mohanjodaro the answer is uniformity in pottery labor mobilization uniformity in seals weights the uniformity in pottery seals weights and bricks reveals that there is an existence of a polity harappan mohanjodaro might have had a city state like polity and the uniformity in the cultural materials and measurements units point to a central authority during the harappan times question number 92 the indus valley civilization declined from about the answer is 1900 bce the indus valley civilization declined from about 1900 bce changes in climate decline of trade with mesopotamia and the drying of river and water resources due to continuous drought are some of the reasons which attributed by historians for the decline question number 93 which of the following places are part of the second urbanization of india The answer is Arikamedu, Kiradi, Urayur. The towns of ancient Tamil Nadu, such as Arikamedu, Kiradi, and Urayur, flourished as part of the second urbanization of India, and these towns are quite different from the Indus cities.